I'm often asked the difference between a round and a teardrop shaped implant. A round implant looks like this. It has a curved surface and a flat base. Um, side on, it basically is the same shape above and below and the nipple is placed centrally on the, on the uh, highest predicting part of the implant. A teardrop implant, however, uh, has a different shape in that it's very thin at the top and thicker at the base. This gives a different shape in the patients and is better for different sorts of uh, uh, breast conditions that we want to improve. Um, I'll start talking about the teardrop implant first. Um, this is a good implant for the ladies that are, are slim, are looking for a natural shaped implant, have fullness of the breast in the lower pole, which will help uh, these implants will push the lower pole out more. They're good for patients that have nipples that are a little on the low side, as a teardrop implant will tend to lift the nipple a little, whereas the round implants do not do this. The round implant, the round implant, however, is different in that it has more fullness above the nipple. The nipple sits centrally in the middle of the implant, which gives uh, more fullness above the, the nipple for those people that are really hollow. Um, above the breast, it doesn't lift the nipple up like a, a teardrop implant does and therefore gives a different sort of shape. Uh, the teardrop implants are a, a more natural looking shape, particularly in uh, tall slim ladies uh, and, and is the preferred option for the minute I hear somebody say natural, I tend to think teardrop is the, is the first option. A round implant can look natural if it's placed below the muscle and it's not a large implant. Uh, the minute you get the very large implants and the minute you start putting the implants above the muscle, they can look really fake. And this is a preferred look for some ladies on the Gold Coast and I'm happy to do that for people that want to look like that. Uh, in that case, I'd be using a large round implant above the muscle. So they're used for different purposes. Uh, both give really nice results and it's really just a personal preference as to what the, the patients prefer.